Hey, today I'm gonna to show you the best way to organize your scene for rigging. The first thing that you want to do is just make sure there's nothing in the scene. I'm just gonna start with a completely clean scene in Maya. So I'll just go file, new scene. There's nothing here. And I already have a 3D model. So I have a folder here in my, I have a resources and rigs folder. It doesn't matter where you put this folder. We're gonna set the project to this folder. So Ball Luigi, that's the, that's the model. I'm going to go to File, Set Project, and then go find that folder. So got Ball Luigi. And you just select the folder and hit Set. And it's gonna ask you about creating the workspaces to say yes, create default workspace. And now let me show you what it did. It just added this folder in, in here so that while I'm working on this rig, it can reference those things and know that this is the folder that I'm working out of. Now I'm just gonna drag my model into the scene. So where are you? And maybe I'll set my world. Right now I'm set to centimeters. I'm gonna set it to meters so that it fits this. So windows, settings and preferences, preferences. Go to settings, set it to meters. Okay. I like to rig when I can see the grid clearly. Also, you wanna to go select all the different parts of the model. And when I set up a model, I want all the geometry to be centered at the origin of the scene. So I'm just gonna take all of these, hit D. So if you hold down D, you can see it's highlighting the, the center. And there's some centers at the center of the scene and some centers up there. So if I hit D and then hold down X, then I can grab that little dot in the middle and drag it down to the middle of the scene. And now all of my, you can see the manipulator here. This is what I'm looking at. So I'm just making sure they're all in the middle and they are. But you can also see this isn't clean geo. Over here on the side, there's values in all these transforms in the channel box. I just want to freeze all that. So you can either go to modify freeze transformations or you can click this little snowflake here in the poly modeling tools. It does the same thing. And you can grab more than one and do it at the same time. All right. So now we've set our project and we have a clean model in here. And then I'd just like to set up a basic hierarchy that I'm gonna put everything in. And the, the hierarchy that I always use is I have one group node that I call, I name um, the name of the rig, so Baluigi rig. And I'm just hitting control G to create a group node. So you just make one of them geometry or mesh. Another one skeleton, another one controls. And then I like to do a last one for deformers, anything that like squash deformers, things that lattices that don't need to be part of the actual controls. You can just throw them in this other group. And then I'm gonna eventually stick the skeleton and the deformers in their own layer. So I usually create a layer from selected. So let's see, I'll put all of these groups under the Baluigi rig. 
right? I can stick all of the geometry in the geometry rig. I actually, this isn't quite clean because I've got namespaces here. See where there's like a, a colon? Baluigi underscore model colon body. I want there to not be any extra namespaces. So I'm gonna go to Windows, General Editors, Namespace Editor. And just grab all of each one of these extra namespaces until I get to root and just say merge with parent. So delete, merge with parent, delete, merge with parent, delete, merge with parent, there. Now I'm all the way down to the bottom and you see those namespaces disappeared. Double click on that. Just name these geo. It's important that you put these suffixes on each thing as you're naming them and don't just name everything the, the body part because if you have a joint or a control or whatever that is has that same name, it's gonna confuse Maya. So Maya doesn't do well with things that are named the same thing. So you wanna just make sure that each thing is unique and so an easy way to make it unique is just to put the modifier at the end. So this is geometry. I'm going to say geo is my modifier. Okay, now let's just reconnect the materials and I think we'll be good to go. So hopping over to the attribute editor, there's this Lambert 2 and see this this little box with the arrow next to it, that means that there's a file that is being used to replace the color. So it's the Baluigi texture. So now I just have to go find it. Oh, it's right there. So I hit six and it's open. Okay, so let's just double check everything. Make sure it's all clean and ready to go. Got None of these have any transform values. None of the geo has transform values. And I've got, oh, I didn't ever create that layer. So let's do skeleton and deformers layer, create layer from selected. And I just call this one the Do not touch layer. And you want to put layer at the end for the same reason. If you have a group that was named like Mario Ball Mesh, right? That could have been this. And that's not even what this is. We just let's just delete these layers. I don't know. That that came across with the uh, the model. So the do not touch layer just black or whatever. And then later, so I'm gonna leave this visible for now while we're building the rig, but later I'm gonna be able to just sit, set this to R, which is reference so that you can't actually click on it. So that's something for later. And then for the mesh, I can just grab the geometry group and do create layer from selected. Call this geometry. Geometry layer, since I called it geometry over there, right? This is ge the geometry group, and this is the geometry layer. And since it's Ball Luigi, let's make it green. All right. We gotta save it. So <laughs> always remember to save everything because Maya hates us and is going to break. So save scene as Luigi rig 001. Okay, there we go. Clean scene, no transforms on anything. I've got my layers that I can use later 
and my groups that I can use later. This is where I'm going to put everything. And yep. So I hope that was helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.